Hi, my name is Kirill and welcome to my channel about New York City real estate. Today I'm gonna walk you through the process of getting an apartment in New York City A to Z. I highlighted 11 steps and a typical time frame for each of them. You decided to buy. Maybe you've been renting an apartment in the city for a while and realized that paying your own mortgage is better than paying your landlord's mortgage. Maybe you're relocating from another state or maybe you want an investment property and you want to rent your apartment to somebody else. First things first, speak with a mortgage broker, bank or financial advisor. It's important to have an idea of how much you can spend prior to beginning your search. Your mortgage broker will compare, analyze and help you to determine what best meets your needs. As you begin your search, you can start providing your mortgage broker with the necessary documentation so you can move quickly once you find the right apartment. Next, hire a real estate lawyer. Everybody has a cousin, a friend, a neighbor who is a lawyer, but when it comes to real estate, I highly recommend using a real estate lawyer. Next, finding an apartment. Depending on what you're looking for, it may take from one day to one year to find a perfect place. You probably heard of websites like Street Easy, Zillow, and Trulia. If you start looking without an agent, you will definitely get paired with one along the process. You can always ask for help an agent that you know personally if you don't want to get paired with a random one. Almost always there are two agents involved in every transaction. One represents the seller and another one represents you, the buyer. There's no reason for you to not use an agent when looking for an apartment to buy. First of all, your agent will represent your interests, will negotiate on your behalf. And just like the seller is being represented, you want to be represented as well. The second reason is that it's free. The seller covers the commission for both of the agents. Usually it is 6% that is split in half. And another reason to work with an agent is that a good agent will make this process much easier for you. They will schedule showings, keep the search going while you sleep, and will show you those off-market listings that you wouldn't find yourself. Next, negotiating on the apartment. Ask your agent to inquire about any assessments, fixtures, air conditioners, rugs, working fireplaces, and all the stuff. Apartments usually sold as is, unless otherwise noted, appliances usually included, but always ask. Next, signing a contract. Generally, in sales transaction, both buyer and the seller are represented by a New York City real estate attorney. The seller's attorney draws up the contract for the buyer's attorney, and upon receipt, buyer's attorney performs due diligence, meaning reading minutes, checking the financials of the building, and other stuff. Once all terms are agreed to, the buyer signs the contract and returns it to the seller's attorney, typically along with a 10% deposit. Once the deposit is received, the seller executes the contract. Next, applying for a mortgage and receiving a commitment letter from your lender. Mortgage applications cannot be processed without fully executed contract. If an apartment is being financed, the board requires a commitment letter from the lender. These letters are typically the last items to complete the co-op or condo board application. Your real estate agent will work with you on this. Next, completing your board package or condominium application. Almost all apartment buildings require board approval before the closing date can take place. In order to review a potential purchaser, the board of managers or directors will review the extensive information about the buyer in the board package. Most boards typically request the following information. Full financial disclosure with the supporting documentation, employment history, current salary, personal and business references, tax return for last two years, and credit history. Next, submit board package for managing agents review. After the buyer's real estate agent completes the board package with you, they will forward this package to the managing agent of the board. The managing agent will review the package to ensure it is complete and will forward it to the board. After the co-op board reviews the package, they decide if they want to meet the potential purchaser for an interview. In case of a condo, if they want to exercise the right of first refusal or if they want to approve the purchaser. Next, meet with a co-op board for an interview. Co-op boards typically meet once a month, but everybody is different. Although the board interview may be granted, it does not guarantee you the board approval. It is critical that purchasers make themselves available to be interviewed by the board. Next, receive approval from the board. The managing agent will typically alert the seller's broker whether the potential purchaser has been approved by the board. Managing agents generally set the closing date. 
and buyers and sellers attorney will coordinate with the appropriate banks, title company and brokers for available time and date. Typical time frame from the time an apartment has an accepted offer to the moment apartment closes is about two months for condos and three months for co-ops. And this is it, the apartment now yours. If you're looking for an apartment or a house in New York City area or in the country, anywhere, send me an email and I'll be able to help you or help you to connect with the right professional in your local area. Remember, my service is free of cost for you. If you found this information useful, like the video. If you have any question, leave a comment below. And subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next video. All the best.